So my last shoot is with the um, HVL F60RM Mark II. Um, I like this flash. It has this feature, which takes me back to the old days um, when we had the flash brackets, but you don't need it with this. You know, it's not the best thing in the world for vertical shooting, but it does help quite a bit. Um, and I used this off camera, and then I added the HVL F46RM <laughs> uh, to the shoot as well. But, you know, again, it's just right out of the box. I shot everything in aperture priority and auto ISO because I just want to show you what these flashes can do. Um, and they're impressive each and every time. Um, I, I do love them. The battery pack for this, you know, for long shoots, I highly recommend. Um, you, you don't need it. <laughs> I'm just going to put that right out there. But um, for the recycle to drop down to 0.6 seconds, it's really impressive. And, and if you're doing commercial work in a commercial shoot, like the job I have coming up, as I said before with the Sony, um, you know, it's just photo after photo after photo. And, you know, with the battery pack, I don't have to worry about the batteries. It, it'll last the entire shoot every single day, all day. Um, and, and it won't miss. And I have never had a problem with these overheating. The original 60 I did, but not these. The second thing I want to show you guys is a really, really impressive flash modifier. Um, the flash modifier I used since 1982. Um, this is the best flash modifier never invented. <laughs> Let me just show you really quick. And there it is. <laughs> That's my flash modifier. Absolutely love it. It works every time. It is an index card. <laughs> simple as that. A simple index card. You can throw them in your pocket. You can bend it for like, this is a black ceiling. I'm not going to show you the results. I'm not going to use this and show you the results because I actually want you to try this. Get a rubber band and an index card. It'll cost you 26 cents <laughs> and use this. Um, you're going to be amazed on how good these work. Now, you old timers probably know this already, but you know we forget it because they have new things on the market, so we have to try the new stuff and have to pay for it. But this here, I, I never forget. I have been to so many jobs where, like, oh, I had to stop at the, the store and get a pack of index cards, and you know, I'd pay a dollar for them, and then I'd lose them after that. But anyway, I'd carry two or three of these on me in case one gets broken. <laughs> And they work fantastic. I don't know if you ever bounce flash and you have hot uh, above and, and then it cools down too fast for you. These index cards take care of that. And you can fold them over and you can block light with them, whatever you want to do. But try these for yourself and let me know what you think because I think you're going to be amazed on what a simple index card can do with your flash. Um, it, it is seriously one of the best modifiers I've ever used. Play with it, tilt it, you know, curl it in. <laughs> Just have fun with it. Um, and then let me know in the comments below what you think, because I, I have a feeling you're going to be like, oh shit, <laughs> I could have used this all along. And it only cost you 20 cents. Anyway, here's some video from, from the flash shoot. Thanks for watching as always. Now the reason I'm doing these videos on these um, Sony flashes, the 28, 46, and 60 Mark II, uh, is just to show how easy it is to use flash. Now this first one here, I have the flash off camera, off to the side a little bit. You can see the shadow, and you can see the shadow under her chin. I like that shadow underneath her chin. I'm not too much of a fan of that shadow. Like I could have brought her off the backdrop, but actually I just centered the flash on her. Um, so, you know, the back shadow would go away. You're still going to have that shadow underneath the chin. But remember, this is just the speed light with the, their plastic dome on it. Nothing. It, it's just simple. You know, it's just a simple light setup. And the light is beautiful, like right at a camera. And, and this is what I want to show everybody that, you know, I know that a lot of people like Godox, a lot of like people like Profoto. Um, I do too. But when it comes to Sony cameras and their flashes, I don't think they could be beat. 
Um, and, and in my experience, and believe me, I have a lot of experience with flash. Um, I love the output from these flashes. They just work. So with this, I just added a reflector, a silver reflector on the left side. Um, it's just for a minor fill. I want to make sure I get full coverage. This is full coverage with that flash. And, you know, it's from boots to head without issue. It just works really, really well. Um, I, and I didn't have a misfire with the flash. Um, I had one overexposed photo out of all the photos I shot. And that, I have no idea if it was me or if it was the flash. Doesn't really matter. So now I added the second light, which is the 46. I didn't set anything up. I just turned it on. Okay, I put it behind her, turned it on. I'm letting TTL do its thing. And this is what I'm getting out of it. You know, this is a two light setup that anybody can do right out of the box because these flashes and the camera talking to the flashes work so well. Um, remember, you, you need, you know, j just because the, cam the strobe is good, like the Pro Photo, it's fantastic strobe, but it doesn't talk as well to the Sony cameras as the Sony flashes do. You know, that's just point blank, that's what it is. So, you know, and I know they're expensive. You know, I, I get that, I understand that, but pick up one, just pick up one flash and try it. Even if you rent one and try it, you'll understand what I mean. Like to me, light is everything that, you know, I'm going to spend money on light and lenses. That's my only constants, light and lenses. Lenses will last you a long time. Believe me, these strobes will last you a long time too. They have a 10 year lifespan in between upgrades. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the shoot and thanks for watching as always.